Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Edgecomb Gray by Benjamin Moore in your living room. As your room decor color expert, I'm gonna give you valuable insider tips on what you need to know about this paint color before deciding if this is gonna be the right paint color for your living room. So, let's go. If you're looking for a warm gray paint color that doesn't have any blue undertones, then this paint color could be the right one for your living room. However, there's some key elements that I want you to know about this beautiful color because I don't want you to make any mistakes that you'll later regret. So let's take a closer look at Edgecomb Gray and let's talk about the color. Right here is Edgecomb Gray by Benjamin Moore, and I want you to take a quick look at this picture right here. I want you to get a good idea of what this paint sample looks like up close. Now, I wanna give you some perspective about this paint color before deciding to paint it in your living room. Watch this. When I compare this with accessible beige, notice what just happened. It's a light, warm gray, and there's something else you need to know. When I compare this with Collingwood by Benjamin Moore, notice the green-gray undertones. So the point is, Edgecomb Gray is a light warm gray and it has green undertones. A quick tip about this paint color, if you're thinking about painting this in your living room and you don't get a lot of natural daylighting, you may want to reconsider because it's going to make your living room feel darker. So if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. I give you valuable information just like this video right here. All right, let's get back to it. I want to show you two prime examples of what this paint color will look like in your living room depending on which direction it faces in your home. So let's take a look at this picture right here. This is a south facing room. It gets lots of natural sunlighting, but when I put it in this north facing room, notice that it looks darker because it gets less natural daylighting. So this is why it's so important to pay attention to what direction your living room faces because this paint color is going to react completely different depending on how much or how little natural daylighting you may receive in your home. A quick tip about lighting, if you're looking for a color that's lighter than Edgecomb Gray, then I would suggest you to look in the direction of a lighter neutral or maybe even a grayish color. Now, if you need help on finding the perfect color palette for your home and you want it to be professionally done, then feel free to check out the link in the description section down below. I show you how I can help you without ever stepping foot in your home, regardless where you live in North America. I want to show you a few quick examples that will help you get an idea of how to work with Edgecomb Gray in your living room. So watch this. I want all of you out there to know that it's so important to compare this paint color with both your interior decor and your fixed elements. I'm going to show you why. Let's say that you have a living room that has a lot of dark earthy undertones like this. Your wood flooring is a chestnut like this, okay? And you have some gold fabric and you have some red orange fabric. And let's say you have a sofa that's a, a, a muted beige with some green undertones, all right? So if this sounds like your living room, what's going to happen is if you paint it with Edgecomb Gray like this right here, it's going to make it feel heavy. And especially at night, it's going to make it look dark. So I would stay away from this paint color if this sounds like your living room. On the flip side, let's say that you have gray wood flooring like this and you have a throw pillow with a baby blue fabric like this and let's say your window treatments is a till green like this fabric and you have sofa with uh, linen fabric like this. Now, these color palettes would work really well with Edgecomb Gray. It's going to make your living room feel open, refreshed, and warm. What do you think of Edgecomb Gray? Or if you have any questions about this paint color, let me know in the comment section down below. I want you to prevent from making costly mistakes. And with these valuable tips that I just gave you, it should give you a better idea if this paint color will work for your living room. 
And remember, if you need help on finding the perfect color palette, feel free to check out the link in the description section down below. Until then, I will see you next week.